Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Barbara and thanks for tuning in. So today, as promised, I am bringing you my top picks for a drugstore beginner makeup kit. All of the products in this bag are drugstore and I use them to get this look today. So if you've ever wondered if you can get a full glam beat face from products from the drugstore that are not gonna break the bank, here's your answer. So if you wanna see how I got this look, one, subscribe to my channel, two, turn your notification bell so you know every time that I upload, and three, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna jump right into this video. I have my goodie bag right here, and this is pretty much all the products that I think are perfect for a beginner drugstore makeup kit. Now, I'm gonna go through and use each item to show you the look that I got, but I'm also going to give you some recommendations for some other products, simply because of different types of skin types, as well as maybe what you feel comfortable wearing. So we are gonna start with primer. You guys know I think primer is a necessity. I personally like to use primers that will hydrate, smooth, and fill in my pores. And whenever I look through what was available at the drugstore, I'm digging in my little goodie bag. I saw that Maybelline had this Master Prime primer and it comes in different formulas. So this one is the Hydrate and Smooth. It's in a blue tube, but there's also a mattifying one, there's a blurring one, there's different types for whatever you need. So I looked for not only products that I thought would work well, but also products that have a variety because everybody needs something different. So I'm gonna take this and just spread it like normal all over my face. And this one kind of just feels like a moisturizer a little bit but it's a little I can feel the slip to feel that it's a little smoothing I'm also going to go in with a different primer for my pores you know I've been liking to do that go in with the hydrating primer and then go in with something else for my pores elf has this poreless putty primer and I did see that they are now coming out with different formulas for that so there is a luminous one there's a matte one this is just the original one. And I'm just going to put that in the areas where I feel like my pores need more help. And also smooth it on my forehead to help with the lines. All right, so now I'm going to move into brows. And again, just to give options, I picked a pencil and I also picked a pomade. For my brows, I have this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. It's an ultra fine tip shaping pencil and I have the shade Brunette. It looks like this, it is tiny. And then for pomade, you've seen me use this before so you know, this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade 380 deep brown and it comes in this little pot So I'm just gonna speed through doing my brows. You've seen me do them before This isn't so much a tutorial as it is just to show you the looks that you can get using drugstore items a Lot of people think like they have to go and get super expensive products to come out with really great looks and I'm gonna show you today Although I'm pretty sure I have already that <laughs> that's not the case All right, so this is what we have for brows right now. I do definitely like the color and I feel like the tip of this is so fine that it makes it look like hair-like strokes, which is exactly what we want for it to look natural. So I will go and clean these up with concealer. I picked two options, um, but the one that I go to mainly for highlighting is this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. You've seen me use this before, I've talked about it. This is in the shade 410 Almond. 
I like this concealer because it has nice coverage and it also stays. I really like the L'Oreal Infallible line in general. Um, I think that the products are good. They last long. They have a matte version of the Infallible line as well as a hydrating version. So you could get either one. I'm just kind of using this to do my eye primer as well. You can get a separate eye primer if you want to, but honestly, just for starting out, I think that concealer is a really good place to start. And it'll also help save some money on not having to buy a bunch of different products. I'm just gonna take a smaller brush and go closer around the edges. All right, so now we are going to go in with a little bit of powder just to set our eyes. The setting powder that I recommend for setting your under eyes if you're gonna bake or just in general for a brightening effect, I've used this before. It's my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder in Banana. They also have different shades for this. So if you want something a little darker, you can use that. Another great option is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, which you've heard me talk about before. That's the great thing about the drugstore. There are different options and it just depends on sometimes the shades that they have available as well as what's available in your area. I strongly suggest just going to Ulta. For foundation, I have a couple options again. Um, I have always loved the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is one of their infallible products. I used to wear the Pro Matte all the time, but now since I don't wanna wear mattifying, I kinda stay away from that one. I also like this Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup. This one has sunscreen in it, SPF 50. This is the shade 348 Cafe Olay. And we're gonna use this one today. I haven't used this one in a while, but when it first came out, I absolutely loved it. It kind of reminds me of the It Cosmetics CC Cream that has sunscreen in it. This one has a good range as far as the shades go, but if you want a better range, then I would go with the L'Oreal. And this one has pretty good coverage. It's not too heavy, but you can build it up. So if you're just starting out and you don't wear a lot of makeup or you don't want too much coverage, then either one of these, you can start with just a small amount and then work up to a fuller coverage if you need to. So as you can see, this is about one pump and this is pretty good coverage. It's not like super, super full, but It's covering up most of my hyperpigmentation. All right, and then for concealer, we are gonna go back to the L'Oreal concealer and I'm just going to do under my eyes and all the other places I normally highlight. Of course, you know, another concealer that I absolutely love is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I feel like I've used that a few times so I wanted to use something else to show you guys, but you can see this has great coverage as well. This one only comes in one formula. The e.l.f. concealer comes in a hydrating, the camo concealer comes in a hydrating formula as well as just their standard matte formula. So you have options. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the Wet n Wild powder and set my face. I always love how you can see such a difference from when you set versus when you don't. All right, for face powder, oldie but a goodie. You guys have seen me use this before. I've mentioned it in several of my drugstore videos. So you know it's the truth and I'm not making it up. This is my L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible Powder. I have two different shades, one for when I'm lighter, one for when I'm darker. I'm showing you these two as an option for if you have oily skin. But something I've been loving right now and you've seen in my few in my last videos is this Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. This one is in the shade 35 Deep 
and because I've been wanting a lighter powder just to kind of set everything and not really add too much coverage I've been really liking to use this one so if you don't really need a lot of coverage and you just want to set your face then you could do it with either one I just like the finish of this one a little better so again it just depends on what you're looking for but either powder will be a great option so that just kind of took a little bit of the shine away from the rest of my face and I'm also dusting away the banana powder now to contour you guys have heard me talk about how hard it has been to find something dark enough to contour in the drugstore you did see in my haul that I found this Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. I picked up the shade Medium Dark, and this is way too dark for me. <laughs> you guys saw me use it. It was one of the few options that, I can't even open this, that I was able to find in the drugstore that is deep enough. So clearly, this is super dark for me. So if you need something that is darker than this, then Ulta check out Makeup Revolution. But one I have been able to find in the drugstore that works well for me is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It. This is more of a bronzer than it is a contour, but the color, the undertone of it works really well for me because it's cooler. So I'm just gonna take my contour brush and I'm gonna go in pretty heavy because I am using this to contour and I'm just going to stamp it to help start building the color. You see the difference there versus this side. Chisel them cheekbones. I'm gonna just show you the difference. If you didn't see my last video for my first impressions, go check it out. But look at this shade and then I'm just gonna barely tap one time and lightly like you can already see the difference that that makes so i'm not gonna go in with any more <laughs> had to learn how to use this because i wasn't sending it back all right so now for blush y'all know that's my favorite two options for you elf has their primer infused blush this is the shade always spicy they only had two shades before and the other one i think was always rosy wasn't deep enough and then i saw this and this is perfection like perfect warm terracotta kind of brick amazingness but then another good brand for blushes milani has their baked blushes and they actually have you can see the little gold reflect in here it's like a marbleized finish and they have different shades in this one luminoso is a really popular one this one is in the shade red vino we're gonna use this one today i haven't used this one in a while but milani baked blushes have been around forever and have been a cult favorite forever. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Use something new. Again, don't be scared that it has a little bit of a glow. As you can see, it's not like adding a bunch of shine on my face. It's just a nice wash of color. Look at that glow. I haven't even added highlighter yet. Next for highlighter, I had some options. But I always just keep going back to these. These are the Wet n Wild highlighting powders and this is their Mega Glow line. These highlighters are just so blinding and they come in different shades. There's a pinker, kind of icier one. There's a deeper bronze one. So it's great for deeper skin tones. But this is just like, hold on, I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna barely tap in here. So as blinding as this is, if you just want a light little highlight, there you go. But we know that's not what I do. And just build it up. Look how pretty that is. See that? 
I always start smiling big when I, when I put highlighter on like every single time. Calm down, calm down. Now we're gonna move into eyeshadow. So y'all know eyeshadow is my thing. Absolutely love it. If you go to Ulta or actually Target too for the ones I have here. Yeah, I guess you can find some of these. I was thinking more like ColourPop, Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place hands down. You want a good palette with a lot of pigment for a very good price, that is my number one recommendation. Go to Ulta and get that. This is one of the e.l.f. palettes. This is the Retro Paradise palette. I also, if you want more just nudes, I like this one because it has a combination of nudes as well as some pops, or pops of color. Then... Maybelline has this Nudes of New York palette, which has mostly nudes. So if this is more your jam, you don't want any colors, you're scared of colors, this is a beautiful option. I also have this LA Girl Pro Artistry palette, and I love this one. This one has so many different color options, and you can do neutrals with the shades up here, or you can add a few pops of color. So whatever your preference. I like that it gives you options. I feel like this one, even if you take out those blues, is a little less intimidating than the e.l.f. one. But e.l.f. also has, I think, four or five other palettes this size. I did a video with the new classics, which is more like cool tone neutrals. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Retro Paradise palette mainly because I want you to see how this formula works since there are so many options and also because I want to play with these colors I'm not even gonna lie hopefully we won't have any issues with fallout I'm gonna add a little bit of powder under my eyes just to have a little barrier in case I do even though I already put my highlighter it's all right can always add more. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the shade Sandy Bum, which is this one up here. And it's just a nice warm tone brown. These have a lot of kick up. So be aware of that whenever you dip in the pan, you're gonna see a lot come up, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Even some of the high-end palettes have that, so don't think that's just like, oh, well, because this is cheap. Then I'm going to go in with Caliente, which is this orange shade, same brush, just to kind of let you guys see how these shadows work together. I'm just blending those together. Then I'm going to go in with Spiced, which is this red here. As you can see, these colors build up well because I'm going back in and adding a little more just to see if I can darken it. And it has good color payoff. And I'm just going to go back with Caliente and blend around the edges. I'm definitely going to go in with this Rise and Shine shade up here. It's kind of a goldish, orangish green. Weird. Let me swatch it and see if you guys can see. This is what the shade looks like. So it is a very vibrant gold. Look at the payoff on that. That is really pretty. And then I'm going to take Fortuna, this metallic shade here, and just go on the outer V near where I had Caliente just to help blend those together. Not, I've got a little bit of fallout, but not too bad. I think this is really good payoff though, considering I haven't even used my finger. Yeah. 
And now, because I don't want this powder to sit on my face too long, I'm just going to dust this off now. All right, so now we're going to darken up the outer V. I'm going to go in with the shade Coconut up here. And then just to see what it looks like, I'm gonna go in with the black, just because I wanna see how dark it is. It's called Nightlife. Okay, all right. Did not come to play, I just wanted a little. And I'm gonna keep this below the brown that I just put. That is a lot darker than I expected it to be. Okay, Elf. All right, so now just to blend out around the edges, I'm going to go in with Caliente, which is the orange, and just kind of help bring some of that color back that we lost. I'm going to go back with Spiced, the red, right on top of the black. Well, the black and the brown. I still feel like I have a bit of a harsh line here, so I'm just gonna lightly go in with Hako, Kaka, whatever, the, <laughs> however you say this. It's a brown, but it's a little lighter. And I'm just gonna go right above. Yeah, that's better. And then for brow bone, I guess I'll go in with canvas. They only have these two mattes that are light. One's a little more yellow, and I don't want the yellow one. So I'm going to go in with the matte shade canvas and just lightly under my brows to kind of help define that more. I was tempted to go in with this shade Paraiso. Lord, these names. It almost looks like a red gold kind of fire color, but it's more of a topper. So this is what that one looks like here. It's very similar, just a little lighter, but it's very glittery and I didn't want that on my face. They also have the shade Sea Salt, which looks like it's this white, very shiny, also a topper. We're gonna put that one in our inner corner Like I said, this is more of a topper, so it's not like, it's bright, but it's just not, it's very glittery. All right, I'm going to speed through my bottom lash line, and then we will almost be done. All right, for brow gel, I didn't do this earlier, but y'all have seen this on my channel before. This is the NYX NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is just a clear brow gel that I like to use to set my brows in place. I'm kind of glad I'm doing this now after because I feel like doing my eyebrows first and then doing everything on top of it kind of moves everything around. So this is good just to help set it and put everything the direction I want it to go. For liner, you guys know I like liquid liners. My all time favorite, favorite, favorite liner is the Physicians Formula Lash Booster. I always recommend that one. It has benefits that are supposed to help grow your lashes. I never really noticed that, but that's what it says. But I really just like that it's a brush tip and I like how it applies. I also have this Milani the Tank Liner and I've really been enjoying this one. If you like a felt tip, this one is a good option. Doesn't liner just make such a big difference? Of course it does. For eyeliner, I actually started using this e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Liner in coffee. I use black sometimes if I'm doing a super dramatic look, but I prefer to use brown for my waterline. But I don't like pencils you have to sharpen. I feel like they dry out. I feel like it has a really good color payoff and it doesn't like drag or 
it's not hard to apply some of them that are like really hard to apply and you gotta like push really hard on your eye i don't like that so i just like something that'll deepen it up a little bit this one also does come in black so if you want a black you can get it in black but this is what this shade looks like for mascara there are so many good drugstore mascaras l'oreal lash paradise essence false effects in the green tube i think it's like three dollars that one's amazing i'm kind of old school i like the l'oreal voluminous and the l'oreal telescopic those have always been my favorites now that my lashes have a little more length to them, I just want them to look fuller. So today I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. I don't really like to use waterproof. I wear contacts and getting any of this stuff on my contacts completely ruins my day because it doesn't come off and I'm blinking all day, my eye is red and it's just a pain. This is what we're working with right now and I am going to put on lashes for you guys, so. I'm just putting on mascara to help it blend in. For lashes, I go back and forth between Kiss and Ardell. You can't go wrong with those. I, for a more natural look, I love the Kiss number 11s. These remind me a little bit of the Ardell Demi Wispies. So if you like this style, then you'll really like those too. For my lash glue, you know I love the Eyelore london 16 hour lash glue the one that says it's latex free but i also like old school duo lash glue and they do have different formulas in that i have the black so i'm just going to use that today another foundation that i wanted to mention to you guys and i forgot earlier it's sitting here in my bag um that i wanted to mention but i guess i forgot because it's not at the drugstore but it is at ulta some of the ultas the ColourPop pretty fresh foundation you guys saw me use that one i absolutely love that foundation and i think it's a great option if you want something that's just very natural it still has really good coverage but there's a good shade range on it and it just wears so well and so pretty so if you can get your hands on ColourPop, i know they're always having sales then you should check them out. I'm gonna put these lashes on and come back. Y'all know this takes me forever. All right, lashes are on. This is probably the easiest my lashes have ever gone on. I said it was gonna take long and then boom. I think it's just cause they're not really thick. You can see them. They definitely added a little more flair to the look but it's not crazy and the band is really thin. If you're just starting out with lashes, always try to find lashes that have a thin, clear band and I'll show you I hope you can see this when I hold it up if you can see that on here you see how the band has like spaces between the lash clusters and it looks clear those are the easiest ones to put on for lips my absolute favorite lip liner is the Rimmel liners these are the exaggerate full color lip liners I have three different shades here these are like my top three go-to one is number 64 obsession which is more of like a burgundy my more nude looks i use epic and then if i want more of a brown then that one's ultimate ultimate i have not seen in stores a lot lately i grabbed a, a bunch of them a while back when i first found out how much i love them hopefully you can still find that one nyx also has some great retractable ones so this one's more of as you can see of like a burgundy red versus a brown I'm gonna go in with ultimate on top of it I should have just used that first because I'm doing a dark lip so that gives us a little more color I'm only doing that because the color I want to use but for lip products if you like a more just general cream lipstick Milani lipsticks are awesome. Maybelline lipsticks are awesome. You can't go wrong with either of those. I always prefer something that's a little longer lasting. I don't like to have to reapply my makeup during the day. It just, I don't have time for that. Um, these Maybelline Coffee Collection Superstay lipsticks, these are a liquid lipstick. 
This one is the matte ink in the shade Coco Connoisseur. They have several different shades. They have the coffee collection, which is more nudes. And then they have other colors that are more like they have reds. They have more burgundy. They have neutrals, whatever you're looking for. But then they also came out with the Superstay Ink Crayons, which have a sharpener on the end of them. Um, but these are a little less matte, so they're not as drying. And I picked up this shade, Forget the Rules. And this one is a very dark shade, but I wanted a dark lip. So I like this too, because I probably could have just used this as my liner. It's almost like this color is buildable. Like when I first went in with it, you can see here, I didn't go around the edge here as dark, so it's not as dark. But then where I went in and over the liner, it's a lot darker. So you can build these up. And I like that it has a point and you can sharpen it so you can use it for both. I love this color. It is gorgeous. It doesn't feel dry, but definitely pigmented, a lot of color and it's matte but it still has a little bit of shine to it i don't feel like it's like shrinking my lips because it's so dry to finish everything off uh for setting spray the milani make it last setting spray has become like one of the best setting sprays in the drugstore i like it but i don't like it and i'm gonna tell you why i like the spray i like the formula i like how it feels i can't stand the damn nozzle on this thing like it is so hard i feel like my face is being attacked so maybe i need to like do that there's also this covergirl clean fresh prep and set water mist this one is more hydrating i'm gonna try this milani one again i just i hold it really far back and then kind of bring my face into it just so that it doesn't feel like it's gonna mess up my makeup that's still hard jesus christ And that's all we're doing with that before I mess something up. It smells good too. I just, I don't like the sprayer. I hate the nozzle. And then I like to always just go back and kind of press it in just to make sure there's no drops anywhere. All right, guys, so this is it. This is the final look. You can't tell me I don't look expensive. I don't look fancy. I don't look like I'm ready to go. Like y'all have seen some of my other makeup looks and this shine, this blend, this match, this face, like this looks expensive. And all of these products are really affordable and they're beginner friendly. So if you're just getting into makeup and you don't wanna break the bank, we are bougie on a budget and that is okay. Check out some of these products that I use today and let me know what you think. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite product was and what you think you're gonna try. I love hearing from you guys, so I can't wait to see what you pick up. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. Again, guys, please remember, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you know when I upload. And if you like this look and you like my recommendations, then give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.